everybody today i am back with another interesting question for our mark room session so here you have to read the paragraph and see that uh, there are ovarian events that are taking place and there are some days that are given and we have to see what is the level of pituitary hormones during these particular days okay so they have asked from day 10 to 14 then 14 to 15 then 16 to 23 then 25 to 29 if the ovum is not fertilized and in case it is not fertilized what happens after the 29th day is the question so simple question from the menstrual cycle so if you see in our menstrual cycle the first 5 days we consider it to be the menstrual phase when the bleeding will take place then from day 5 up until day 13 we will have the follicular phase so this is the period when the gonadotropins and the fsh will increase so from day 10 to 14 there will be an increase in the fsh and gonadotropins following that from day 14 to 15 is when we will most probably expect the ovulation so that time the lh will reach its peak level but the fsh will start dropping then when the uh, luteal phase will start here there is no more role for the gonadotropins per se so from the day 16 to 23 there will be a gradual decline of the lh and fsh and at last towards end of the menstrual cycle when the progesterone is also declining from day 25 to day 29 then also the uh, lh will continue to remain low and the fsh will also go on decreasing now this is the answer for the first part the second part is asking what will happen if after the 29th day there is no fertilization so what will happen is at day 29 if there is no fertilization it will again go back to square one and start the fresh cycle causing the menstrual bleeding so you can say that there will be a discharge of blood and casting off of the endometrial lining so this is just a summary of your menstrual cycle and also a very important board question so if you understood this definitely do throw a star in the comment box and subscribe for more all the best